Being a Christian these days can be tough. Negative comments, bad reactions and people disliking my beliefs. I'm used to all of that. But yesterday I felt like I hit a new level of trials. So here's what happened. Last week I replied to some comments from some of my friends on YouTube. I could see their replies on my YouTube studio. But when I checked my official page, they were gone. Poof, vanished, gone, 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 gone. <sighs> so on the official page, it looked like I was talking to myself. I thought it was a bug, so I spent hours updating things and even reached out to Google support. After talking to three different agents and updating all the things that I could from my end. Um, the last one told me thanks for nothing. I said okay, leave it. Maybe it's just one bad day. But to my surprise, this morning it happened again. This time was different because this comment was from someone I didn't even know. It was a, just a viewer, random viewer. And that bothered me because I remember people asking me in the past why did I delete their comments? And I thought they were joking. They must be joking, right? As a YouTube creator, I need engagement for my channel to grow, right? So why would I delete their comments? It makes no sense. It doesn't bother me anymore that my channel doesn't grow so much. Because I knew from the start this path will be lonely. But it bothers me because people will think I don't care about their comments. And just delete them at my pleasing. This situation hurts and apparently I can't do anything about it. Satan has been really messing with my head lately. With many little situations and problems like this one. Unsolvable by a human hand. And to be honest, today I was almost ready to give up. But then I remembered how alone was Jesus telling the truth. And then I smiled again. Maybe Satan is thinking I'll manage to light the fire in some hearts for God. Because I have some delicious true content coming. And I can see him putting all his efforts into demotivating me before I even start. Because that will make his life easier, right? Kill the source of the problem and you're done. No more problem. But hey, you know what? I decided to fight for even one soul. God knows better who that soul is. But until I find out, people of God, here's my request for you. Will you stand with me in this fight? Just pray for me tonight. Peace will give my invisible enemies some time to reflect on their behavior. Because I strongly believe when Satan plans for your bad, God turns it into something good.